Hello everyone, this is the introduction video to uh, Economics 131 Section 4 for the spring of 2017. So uh, in this video I just want to kind of walk through um, the syllabus, walk through um, the textbook, the homework, and basically make sure that everyone is on the same page in terms of what they need to be doing uh, to do well in this course. Um, so we have the syllabus here. Um, this is um, on La Lima as well. Um, but let me walk through the syllabus first, then we'll do La Lima, then we'll do the um, textbook. Um, the best way by far to contact me is by email. Uh, a few of you have emailed me already and I think most of you have found that I've emailed back pretty quickly. Um, I am on campus um, every day during the week. Um, you know, I get emails sent to my phone so there's really no um, reason why I wouldn't be able to reply to you very quickly. If it's something that requires a reply, maybe you're telling me something that doesn't require a reply and then I probably will not reply. Um, but as an online instructor, you shouldn't feel like you only can contact me by email. Uh, I'm also in my office, and that's in the E building um, here on the West Oahu campus, 124. You can call me as well. Um, if you reach me during the, if you call during the day, um, I certainly will answer the phone, but um, I'm not really good with voicemail, so if you do leave a voicemail, it may go unheard. So try to email. Uh, or if you call, call during the day, or come to my office. Okay, then we have a description of the course itself. I start out with what the course catalog description says, and then what I think um, that this course um, does. And essentially, this is a macroeconomics course. And what that means will become clear as you've read chapter one, but basically we're going to be talking about the types of economics that you would most oftentimes hear in the news or that you would oftentimes hear other people talking about. Topics like unemployment, inflation, and uh, GDP levels. Okay, so the big question that probably many of you have would be is how, I'm go how am I going to assess your learning? Um, it's always a little difficult too with an online class um, trying to measure that. But essentially what I've done is um, there are going to be homework assignments for each of the chapters and there are going to be uh, three exams. Now all this will occur using the um, Launchpad site. The Launchpad site is the thing I will show you um, towards the end of this video. But essentially um, what we're seeing for this um, uh, for the assignments is that the assignments will do a very good job of preparing you for the um, each of the exams. Here is our textbook. Uh, this is the Chang textbook. Um, the textbook as well as the homework system and everything is all on this Launchpad website. Um, and again, I'll use that at the very end of this. Um, but basically by going onto the site and purchasing access, um, you can be done for about a hundred dollars. Um, I'd apologize about the cost, but uh, I didn't set the price. Um, all I can do is uh, try to keep your cost down to a minimum. And in this case, especially, um, you will be going on this site quite often, both to read the book and to do the required things. And to learn this material online, this is, I think, probably the best way to do this. So just keep in mind that I'm well aware that it costs a hundred dollars. I'm not insensitive to the idea that it costs a hundred dollars. Um, and unfortunately I guess it's just a part of the resources of needed to take this class. Okay. These are the instructions for how to sign up for this course. Uh, but again, I'll walk you through how to do that at the very end of this video. Um, the biggest thing would be in terms of classroom policies is that the deadlines 
They're not absolutely 100% firm, but they're pretty firm. You're well aware at this point of what the deadlines are going to be, so plan appropriately. Um, and I do that not because I'm just trying to, inf not because I want to enforce order or I want to be the boss. Rather, I'm doing it just to be fair to everyone else um, who has done things uh, on time. Um, so to give someone else more time. Uh, can be unfair. I say can, doesn't have to be unfair. Obviously if something really bad happens to you that was unexpected and you missed the deadline, you should be telling me, right? Because it's only fair then that you would have more time. Um, and the last part of this is that there'll be no opportunities for individual extra credit. But as you'll see in the description today, there'll be plenty of opportunities for uh, extra credit that's available to everyone in this course. Uh, in terms of integrity, don't cheat. Uh, we can read. You can read the policy here. Uh, if you ever have any questions, of course, you could always ask me or someone else. Um, but essentially, academic integrity means not presenting work as your own when, in fact, it is someone else's. And then we have accommodation. Uh, the accommodation would be useful uh, for some of you if you have special requirements in terms of time for your exam. Uh, because the exam is timed if you require a time and a half. Uh, contact Dr. Takeda. His number is right here as well as his email address. Um, and um, talk to me as well and we'll get that accommodation taken care of. And then finally there are tutors for this course. They are all at the Noyal Center. Uh, if you need a name of someone specifically let me know. Uh, I do have students that I've had in the past that um, can serve as a tutor, but also, right, you're just as much a student of mine as one that would be in the classroom, so if you need help on material, you can also just contact me for help as well. Okay, um, we have voted, um, I just checked it right before I started this video, but let me just check it one last time here for the poll. Yeah. So, um, of the this stu this class has about thirty students, and twenty two of you have registered. So we have agreed to have the homeworks bunched up um, on about a monthly basis. So about every four weeks, um, we'll have something due. Um, and that will be all the chapters will be due. Uh, for the four of you that wanted weekly homework assignments. Uh, I could accommodate you very easily. Uh, just tell me that you want weekly due dates and I will change yours individually to be due weekly um, on about a weekly basis. But you can see here there's about four chapters every month. That would mean that I want that you should aim to stay at the pace of approximately a chapter a week. Okay. Here's our grading scale. Um, if you ever have a question about your grade, please, please email me and I will estimate what your grade is at any point in this semester. Okay, and then there's the schedule. You could, I would suggest that you stick to the schedule in general. It is um, for you, it is self-directed. You are, it is on you to kind of stay with the material on a week by week basis, keeping in mind that chapter three is gonna take approximately two weeks to complete, I think. The exam, you can start the exam as early as you want to, but it will need to be completed by the um, date that's on Launchpad, which I believe I'll set as the 13th. And then as you can see, the process just starts again for part two of this course, and then one last time for part three of this course. Okay, let's look at La Lima. So on La Lima, I'm gonna presume that all of you are comfortable with how to use La Lima, and I'm in student view, so this should be roughly similar to what you're seeing. Um, I'm gonna to try to use the announcement feature a bit more often, but you're gonna see here then on the side, um, the important tabs. That would be syllabus, lectures, um, those would be the two big ones. Um, let's start with syllabus. So on the syllabus here we're gonna have posted um, 
all the things that um, the document that we just went over and then the lectures so then the lectures are divided out by chapter and what you'll see here then is generally YouTube videos of where I go over review the slides you'll then see an original copy of the slides now uh, well, let's just look at it here So you'll see the original copy of the slides. In the videos, I'm basically showing you these slides and talking about each of the slides. Not just reading the slide, but talking more about each of the slides. And then as well, I made some documents a few years ago, but I think they're still helpful, where I kind of give you like a bullet point overview of each of the lectures. And I do that for each and every one of the chapters. And then the document that I'm going to start doing here would be tasks, what you need to do. Um, and I'll divide it out by um, each of the three parts then of this course. Okay. Um, that's La Lima. We've gone over the syllabus. Now let me talk a little bit about um, the website for this course. Um, that would again be Launchpad. This website that I'm using right here, I'm going to post it in the announcements. It's also going to be emailed to you. Um, it has been emailed to you, but I'll email it to you again. And um, it also is in the syllabus. The first time that you do this, I mean, what you should focus on here is that you should see this course, uh, my name, our course econ 131, and that this is section 4. So that's how you know that you're in the right one. Um, when you start this course, if you're still a little bit uncertain about whether you're going to stay in this course or you have any doubts, then you would say, I need to pay later. And then you will start this process of entering in your email address. You may use any email address you want. I just need to know who is who, so please try to use your real name. Um, you can say that you'll pay later and I think they give you like two weeks for free but after two weeks you'll need to pay the hundred dollars and then as you're signing up for it now if you sign if you bought the book at the bookstore you have been given an access code so that would be how you um, access everything but once you've done it um, you'll have an email address and a password to sign into the system I obviously already have such a thing Now, in general, I have found over time that this computer system works best on uh, Firefox um, as your browser. Firefox as your browser is the one that looks like this, like a fox with its tail going around the world. Um, I'm doing this in Chrome right now, so if I, I may come up to some problem. Um, also, um, if you're, you need to have installed on your computer, um, you need to have installed uh, Adobe Flash. If you have any technical issues, try to identify those as early as possible, and I can help you troubleshoot. You can, there's a helpline that you can call to help troubleshoot. Um, there's lots of resources um, to figure out how to um, uh, available to you to try to help you figure out if you're having any problems. But now, based on what we've decided as a, as a class, just on voting, um, this course then is divided into three parts. And in each of the three parts, you are then going to see the chapters. And you'll notice that they all have the same deadline. That would be because that by February 13th, you need to have all of these things done. So do not wait till the last minute. Now, within each chapter, you will notice that there's one and only one required thing. That would be your graded homework. And in each chapter, mm -hmm. there's an opportunity for some extra credit. So it would be probably useful, if you, certainly if you have the time, to do that. Now, within this part right here is the chapter that you would then be reading, right? So that would be um, these parts of the ebook. 
Now, let's talk about what the um, homework itself, what the settings are, because these settings are important. For each of the homeworks, you can do the assignment as many times as you want, and it will only record the highest score. So, to not get a 100% on the homeworks means that you are not spending enough time on this course. Because if you are spending enough time on this course, you can do the assignment the number of times required to get a 100%. Okay? So, um, the homeworks are... Um, I'm, I'm generous in terms of how it's being scored because I'm expecting, I'm hoping that you're going to score rather high. You're not necessarily going to get 100% because you're going to possibly say, you know what, I've only got so much time, I can't keep working on this. And that's fine. But the idea is that it's preparing you for the exam. There's no time limit, so just keep doing the assignments until... Um, you just keep doing the assignments until you get the uh, grade that you are happy with. Now, the exam is a little bit different. For the exam, let's talk about the settings for the exam. For the exam, you get one attempt and it's taking your highest score. You will have up to six hours to do it. So, the idea is that you would be taking notes, you would have references, you would have, you know, you would be thinking about things and that yes, it may take you a long time to do this exam, but um, it is possible to do well on it if you devote sufficient time to it. And By exam three, the very last part to this course, you will have the exact same settings, but the material will be um, covered from the very beginning of this course to the end of this course. And it will be due um, at the time of the um, last day of classes. In this case, um, uh, well, I think that's around the, it's the official uh, start date, I think, to the final exams period. Okay, um, what you should be doing this first week, and I will be making this document, is that you should start familiarizing yourself then with the Launchpad site and start reviewing then chapter one um, for uh, this course. Okay, if you have any questions or any concerns, just let me know.